Hello everyone, uh, it's Decaf here. Uh, got a new t tool tutorial for you. Uh, so if you've been following uh, these tool tutorial videos for a while, you'll notice I'm just going straight down the uh, menu over here on the left side. So that means that today's tool of the day, if you will, is the spline tool. And as your pro engineer description says, creates a spline curve. Uh, if you've seen some of my really early videos, uh, you'll notice that I have a Bezier curve demo from one of my calculus classes, and that's essentially what this is. So I'll show you uh, how to manipulate that later on, but there's a couple of really fun things you can do with this. Uh, you can go around, just click millions of different points, and get this really, really funky shape out of it. So here's a little anchor-ish sort of shape, or a stingray, if you will, whatever you want to call that. And what's really nice about this is it's all one curve. It's really smooth, really easy uh, to make. Uh, and I can go in and edit this very, very simply with the mouse tool. I just click on any one of the points that I made originally, and I just drag it wherever I want to put it. That's where it will go. I can rotate things if I want. By from my start point, I can move my start point around and scale things. So that's really, really fun. Uh, there's another way you can edit, though, uh, using the to make it seem like a Bezier curve. Uh, if you've seen my uh, wing tutorial things, uh, this will be a fairly uh, simple uh, explanation. Uh, but what I'm going to go and do is modify uh, this. So I'm going to click on the spline curve, right click here. There we go, now it's in red. M click modify. And now I can go in and change the way I'm viewing this. So I'm going to go over here to the uh, rightmost view section and now I can see all these outside lines uh, related to each one of the points that I made and using this I can go and edit the curve very very gently if I need to and from for those of you uh, math people out there uh, yes this is the Bezier curve uh, a very very complicated Bezier curve uh, but you can make any number of shapes uh, using this. So, if you want to have a lot of fun, uh, make some really cool looking things, uh, this is the best way to do it. Uh, I have not found a better way. So, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can.